Please don't come up here. I don't want to have to shoot you. Yo, man. Hey, Jim. Hey, oh, hey, man. Come on down from that ladder. Boy, well, you don't got to do that because I was talking to the guy and you know, I was going to come up there and fix this thing right. Oh, well, that's good because I wanted to get down to the stable and check on the grain supply. Say, listen, uh, man, I'm not doing it. I'll go with you. Okay. Come on, let's go. I'm not behind you, Paul. Good afternoon, Mrs. Bellman. Hello, Vivian. Mr. Bellman. Come in. Come in. I'll get some food out in a minute. Can I fix anything for you? Uh, no, thank you, Vivian. Iris, it was a lovely service. It was lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Let's sit down. I thought the eulogy Grant gave was very moving. Well, I felt a little strange saying anything. Alex and I haven't been separated for so long. There was no need for you to feel strange. Alex and I were separated for 25 years before we found each other again. The important thing was that you were reconciled with your brother in the end. I think it meant a great deal to Alex to have had you here. I hope so. Iris, I know this isn't a very good time to bring this up, but we've got to discuss some financial matters. What financial matters? Why don't you just drop down to my office uh, any time next week when it suits you, we'll talk then. Well, if you're referring to Alex's will, I already know what's in it. Yes, I know that, but... Uh... It's ironic, isn't it? Everyone knew, even before Alex died. I don't understand. A couple of months ago, there was an attempt on uh, Alex's life. His will was read then. The bulk of his estate was left to me, and world oil was divided three ways. Three ways? Yes. Among myself, Dennis, and Ryan Connor. Did you see how proudly he stood there during the service today? Iris, please. If it weren't for Ryan... Alex might still be alive today. May I join you? finally had a chance to meet uh, Alex's brother. He mentioned you a couple of times, and I gathered you had been quite close. Yes, we were at one time. It's good that you were here to help Iris through this time. I know she appreciates it. Thank you. No, thank you, Vivian. Thank you. Um, Mr. Bellman? Yes, really. I was wondering if I could speak to you. There's something I wanted to ask you. What is it? Well, I've been wondering about something, but I didn't know who to ask. Ask what? <laughs> um, it's just that I... Um, well, I've never known anybody who was cremated before, and I was wondering what happens to the ashes and like that. Well, the ashes are put in an urn, and an urn is put in the mausoleum. Oh, so if I want to pay my respects to Mr. Wheeler, I go there? That's right. Oh, okay, thank you. Iris is very lucky to have Vivian working for her. Yes, yeah, she certainly is. She's quite a character. <laughs> I wouldn't underestimate her. She's got a lot on the ball and the most loyal person you could ever find. Stryker, you've known... Ryan Connor for quite a while. What do you think of him? I think he's a fine young man. What do you think? Well, he's my nephew, but I haven't seen him in a lot of years. But what Iris said about him bothers me. Grant, Iris is uh, talking through grief. I wouldn't pay too much attention to anything she says right now. Yeah, that might be. But then there might be a grain of truth in what she said. Yeah, you know, we're all in quite a shock over Alex's death. He was very strong. Yes. Yes, he was a very persistent man. Yes. The assassination attempt, uh, the stroke. He lived through all that. Uh, 
Unshakable. He certainly was. Yeah, it's hard to believe that he's gone. He was just getting better. <laughs> he knows that uh, he wanted to talk to me uh, just before he died. He told his secretary to get a hold of me. What did he want? I don't know. Uh, I never got to see him by the time I got to the hospital. He, he was gone. Where are Mr. Bellman and Mr. Wheeler? They're still in the sunroom. Thank you. Oh, Terry Decker called from Paris. I thought she would. Rena called her and told her about Alex. She wanted to come to the funeral, but there wasn't time. Maybe I should have delayed the service for a day. Oh, no, Iris. Terry wouldn't have wanted you to do that. She was a good secretary. She worked for Alex for ten years. She probably knew more about him than I did. So did you. No, Iris. The man I knew was kind, attentive, considerate. But a man who could never share his feelings or his heart. Those things were always reserved for you. Thank you, Vicky. That means a great deal to me. Is Dennis's hearing tomorrow? Yes, it is. I've lost all sense of time. I don't even know what day it is. Grant, when is your daughter due to arrive in Houston? Uh, as soon as she's bored with Europe, which is probably in the next day or two. <laughs> I'm looking forward to meeting her. Well, I hope she finds something to do to keep her busy this summer. Maybe I can find something for her at the station. Excuse me. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Iris. Everyone? Uh, uh, Iris, I, I think we should be going. Now, if there's anything at all you need, please call me. Thank you. And thank you both for coming. Well, just a Marshal. I understand your oil project has been successful. That's right, Iris. It's a major oil strike. Then Alex's faith in you was justified. That's good. I, I just hope that Ryan Connor doesn't decide to dump this project now that he's running World Oil. Don't worry. I won't allow that to happen. Well, now, I don't think that this is the time to discuss business. My husband spent his life building world oil. I have an obligation to see to it that his wishes are carried out. I know. I, I understand. What makes you think Ryan will want to drop the idea of establishing an oil production division at World Oil? He wants to concentrate on transport. Iris, he doesn't want to spend the time looking for the oil. Do you know why he feels that way? Well, our production is very expensive. It's time-consuming. It's a, it's a terrific gamble. Ryan Connor doesn't want to take the risk. Why not? Isn't it important for the company? Ryan Connor doesn't think so. He's got a fleet of oil tankers which are guaranteed income for the company. Ryan Connor isn't very adventurous. I would have thought that uh, Mr. Connor would have been here today. I didn't invite him. I don't think he would have come anyway. Why not? Because of the way he treated his uncle. But I always thought that, that Mr. Connor was very kind and considerate to Mr. Wheeler. Working him so hard, discussing business with him immediately after he began to recover from a stroke. That's not kind, darling. Well, Mr. Wheeler did ask to see him. I'm the one who called him. Sweetheart, you were only following instructions. But Ryan should have declined to see Alex until he was stronger. He should have known better. He should have known that Alex was in no condition to deal with company problems. Maybe, maybe Ryan wanted to let Alex know that everything at World Oil was running smoothly. That there was nothing for him to worry about. I doubt that very much. I think Ryan wanted to ensure his future position in the company. And in doing so, he caused Alex to have another stroke. Oh. 